I welcome you to the Big Fat Mixed Media Tribe and in today's episode we will be creating magic. Nothing technically complicated but a little magical. And to create magic of course we need lotions and potions and here they are. We will be using all of this but the main magic ingredient will come a little bit later. So let's prepare everything we will need today. I am starting with these cutting dies and I chose specifically these because the shapes are very simple. I want to do quite a lot on top of these shapes so tiny little intricate shapes would not show up the surface very well. So that's why I chose flower and leaf shapes which are the simplest. I am cutting every leaf and every flower three times because I want to build up the thickness to make them more substantial to be able to use them as an ephemeral later. The fourth layer I'm cutting from this gorgeous paper which is much, nothing more than ordinary printer paper with which I line my spray box. So whenever I spray something with inks I put a paper uh, on the bottom which soaks up the excess ink and you get gorgeous colors. So I cut the top layer bluishy one for the flowers and greenishy part for the leaves. And now I'm gluing all the layers together using art glitter glue. So four layers for my flower and one, two, three, four layers for the leaf. And this cutting die had a slit in the middle which allows me to bend the leaf, leaf a little bit. So, let's start creating some magic. And for that I will be using an ordinary glycerin. This is a vegetable glycerin which I got from Amazon. And it has been wonderful for my crafting projects. I really enjoy using this product because it is much more unpredictable if I use it for embossing instead of embossing ink and it adds to this um, little bit grungy, little bit unpredictable uh, look of the product. I'm putting on a layer and a generous layer with a brush and I'm being generous because I want a lot of stuff to stick to my flower and to my leaf and let's have some real talk for a moment. The glycerin doesn't cost a lot. I have been using it for several months now and I haven't even made a difference to the bottle, I think. So it will last me a lifetime. And so let's start playing with our potions and lotions. So the first one are uh, brown flakes from Nouveau. And I'm just dropping randomly them on my flower. I chose different flakes and powders and glitter just because they have different sizes, not just because of different color. And the second powder that goes on the flower is this beautiful coppery glitter. I am not trying to cover the whole flower with an even layer because even more things will come on top, just to add some interest. And these beautiful flakes, green flakes, go on the leaf. And now on the same layer of glycerin, because there is enough of it to have the layer stick, I'm putting the embossing powder. This is an embossing glaze by Arranger. It is transparent, so you, you will be able to see all the layers underneath it. And it will encase all our glitter and flakes and make a beautiful, interesting surface. And I'm doing the same for the leaf, just choosing a different embossing glaze. And since I had a quite a thick layer of glycerin and a generous amount of powder, I'm not being shy and I'm using my fingers to press the powder into the glycerin to get even thicker layer. I'm melting the powder and then it's time for the second layer and I'm adding a stamp. This is one of my favorite stamps with gothic letters. 
to have one more layer of interest. Not much of these letters will be visible at the end, but they are still there, adding one more layer of interest. And then I'm going in with another very generous layer of glycerin. And since the previous layer is now slightly sticky, I'm not putting the glycerin of paper on paper. It is not covering the flower and the leaf perfectly. There are some imperfections where the glycerin beads up, and that adds to the interest of this little beautiful thing. And again, my copper powder and more of those wonderful glittery flakes. And then I decided to add even something purple. These are um, this is glitter again from Nouveau. And again, a very generous amount of embossing powder, which I'm pressing with my finger to make sure that everything sticks to the layer of the glycerin. And the same embossing lays on top of the flower. Again, a very generous amount. And yes, <laughs> I'm not afraid to press it down with my fingers. Perfection is not required for these kinds of uh, creations. So let's let's look closer. Do you see what's happening here? Do you see all the shine and sparkle? And there is like a little universe happening in these layers. Absolutely wonderful. And look at those green speckles. How they shine and almost move within the embossing powder and of course it's not enough two layers of embossing are not enough i'm doing it the third time and again a generous amount of glycerin but this time i'm not using the distressed glazes i am using my all-time favorite mixed media product which is baked texture embossing powder by Seth Aptor and this one is vintage beeswax. Those distressed glazes that we used previously they are wonderful but the powder is very fine and very uniform so you get quite a flat um, surface without much interest but look what the difference the uh, baked texture embossing powder does. It has these crystals and different size of uh, little pieces in it and the surface is so interesting and just look what happens when you melt this on the top it's like a whole world in there see the things move and change and this is magic this is magic on your table and it's pure joy to watch it at least for me and now the green leaf i covered it with vintage beeswax and just look at that See how it moves, it's alive, it's, it is magic. Oof, I'm getting all emotional here over a little paper flower. So see the, see the leaf and the beauty of glycerin is um, it still stays a little bit elastic so I can bend the leaf and the flower without crackling the embossed layers. You saw me even crinkle the object in the hand for example, when I made the Circus Art Journal page and the embossing doesn't crackle. And here are the finished flowers. For others, I used book pages as the two layers, so that's why they are lighter in color. But aren't they beautiful? So they will go in my albums as embellishments. Some will go to my paper pen pals with whom I exchange ephemera. Aren't they beautiful? shiny and so complex and so much going on or you can do this this is a little elephant i made the same way and i attached it to a big paper clip so i made my own little piece of stationery and here are some close-ups let's enjoy the beautiful beautiful surface and the universe within the layers of these flowers and leaves i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you feel inspired and I see you soon in the next episode. Bye-bye.